Hi YouTubers, it's George, I'm in the garage. Uh, the temperature is about three degrees in the garage, <clears throat> so blooming cold. But I just thought I'd give you an update to do with this aqua marine radio. Let's move that light out of the way. This aqua marine radio here. I'll just show you. Switch on. Let's go to channel 10. I'll just show you this. Transmit. Just under 20 watts. Which is okay. It says spec at 25, but uh, it's going just under 20. And if we go to the 1 watt setting. exactly one watt now no instability no transmitting on receive like it does before was it worth repairing <clears throat> financially no <coughs> you've got to watch out for fake transistors which don't meet the specification and I got slipped into or diverted against that wrong road as they say and uh, to get the genuine transistors for the final output stage the one that goes in here one of these spider looking things uh, to get a genuine Mitsubishi one and not a fake they're 30 pounds just for one transistor the driver which again is one of these spidery looking transistors they're about 20 pounds and I was lucky enough to get one for 15 now so we've got 30 pound there and say 20 there that's 50 pound in two transistors um, I purchased a uh, new lead for it, which was six, seven pound, I think it was, for the new lead and connector. And also, I had a second unloud speaker because the loud speaker was wrong. On top of that, I've spent over ten hours in total trying to get this thing working. So you're talking what, 30, 40, 50, 60, probably 70 pounds worth of bits and pieces to get this radio working. <coughs> and with a radio this age, um, and you can't get a circuit diagram that you can read it, it's difficult to get the manuals and one thing or another, is it worth fixing? The answer is no, it's a complete dead loss in money. And I could have spent this money on other projects, to be perfectly honest. I won't slip into that again. Um, yeah, it works now. Uh, the other thing I haven't got is a bracket to mount it, which is, I've got the, the thumb screw things, but no bracket. So I have to make that as well. So watch out for fake semiconductors on the market um, although they may have Mitsubishi on them they can be fake and I've got caught out in that one but luckily I got my money back which is good and I got one from a decent source um, not a lot to say really it is working I've just got to put the covers on now this will get put to one side and that leaves space for future projects so thanks for watching it certainly wasn't worth the money to fix please subscribe and like